I'm sorry, I got sidetracked here. I was working on a project and play with my, my alert didn't go off. Okay. Who all is coming online here? Do you know? Uh, I'm sure Carolee will get going and then um, I don't know who else. Um, I think uh, Andrea and Rafe and then, hey, Dad. Hey, Hi. Nana and Jeepa, hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> hey, guys. How are you today? All right. All right, I got the recording going. Okay. What we'll do is we can edit out all the before and after stuff, and uh, but uh, this can be the bloopers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the bloopers are the best part, man. You know that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. I'm getting the recording set up here to go. So we're recording. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Zap. Okay, we're recording two different ways right now. All right. Well, Carol, I'll let you guys kind of know where I did. I want to be basically in the background. If there's a problem or something, you can holler at me. But I'm. Re it is recording, so whoever's speaking, you know, uh, you can see on your screen who's there. What I'm going to do, if I can, make is I can make the person who's actually speaking the full screen image, so we can you know see it a little bit better on the recording. But everybody will be on there. That's okay. not bad. Leonard, are you on? I see a name. Mm -hmm. Ah, hey, 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 can you see us yeah we can see you can you see us yeah it just our thing says waiting so i wasn't sure if you're on stop now oh uh healthy uh there's her son on and john and brenda are on phil's son and you and i and linda hall is trying to get on so is Leonard and Judy and Andrea Coffee. You hear us? Yes, we hear you. We don't see you, but we hear you. Can <laughs> This is how it's going to work, okay? Uh, here we are. Hey, right. no. okay. guys. Oh, I love your bed. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, here, here. Hey, Linda. Hey, Linda. Dean. Hey, hasn't come on yet. When you not on yet? Hello? Leonard and Judy. This is Leonard and Judy. Oh, you are on. We just can't see you. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> can hear you. Turn on your video. You can turn the video on. There you go. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I like your best for profit. <laughs> What Cheers, guys. Cheers. Happy birthday, Phil. Hi. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. I think everybody's on. What I probably have to do is I'll probably have to What? I want to play. What? I can't. 
All right. Um, so <laughs> I guess uh, I just want to talk to you guys and tell you thank you for um, still uh, putting out everything on the web. What you going to say? Yeah. <laughs> he got his notebook out. He got evidence. What? I don't like this. Hey, can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. All right, finally. <laughs> well, happy birthday. Ron, go ahead. Happy birthday, old man. <laughs> Young man. John's gonna read from his list. My list? My list of what? You I don't know. Paper. You had paper and pencil. We thought you had a Oh list no, I'm I'm just gonna take notes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that for information or what? For what? Just for evidence. Later. <laughs> Blackmail material. I'm sure there are a lot of good stories that I don't know, especially from uh, Linda. <laughs> I don't know that I don't have any on sale. They're all on these cousins. <laughs> well, um, some of you don't know each other. Leonard and Judy live in Missouri. And Dean and Linda live in Plano. And Andrew and Rafi live in Houston. <laughs> Hi, Gigi. Kelsey and her son, do you live in Overland Park? Uh, Olathe. Olathe. Oh, okay. wow. Uh, they're near me. Um, hey, Is their mom, niece, and my niece, but they're, they were not. They're all nieces. <laughs> <laughs> Carly, you're uh, in the picture. Carly. And uh, our Phil's son, Andrea and Rafi, they're uh, he's my daughter. So I guess that's everybody. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey. <laughs> Carly, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, you're not in the. <clears throat> excuse me. You're not in the picture very well. If you can move to your left. That's okay. Now. It wasn't for me. It's for him. <laughs> That's fine. I just didn't want you to be cut off. And there was someone else. Uh, let's see here. Brenda. I don't know the names of everyone here, but there's another lady. Uh, red shirt. Red jacket. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, she needs. To <laughs> <over>. right, yeah. <laughs> That didn't sound good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to ask you guys questions of things that you remember about what you and Phil have done together or whatever. And I just want to tape it for, for future, I don't know. Uh, grandkids have something to remember us by. So, um, since John's known him the longest of any of us, no, no, I guess that's not true. Where did Junie have love? John? Linda has known me longer. Oh, that's true. Linda has known. Linda should go first. Explain who you are. Well, I didn't know Phil all that well. I used to run around with his cousins, Mary and Martha, the preacher's daughters. And let me tell you what, what they say about preacher's daughters is true. <laughs> Especially Martha. <laughs> Her poor daddy believed everything she told him. And uh, there was a, I don't know how she ever explained why their car was in such bad shape. Because we kept the cobweb blown out of that old Chevy. <laughs> And um, I met Phil a couple of times when uh, there was babysitting involved. In other words, they threw all of us kids that were old enough not require a babysitter kind of together 
And since I was an only child and both my parents worked, I had a lot of free time on my hands. So I spent a lot of time at other people's houses. And uh, Mary and Martha were quite fond of Phil. But I guess I was about 16 or 17 and Phil was about 14 or 15, first time I ever met him. And then after the girls graduated high school, we uh, didn't have any occasion to meet again. At me at the that was bizarre how we all me. got together. <laughs> be... Oh, what happened, Joe? There you are. And oh, where are you? We met, we re met. Dean and I met at, uh, no, we all met at the gym. And yeah. that's where we made a connection there at the gym and they started telling me about networking and then we found, they said their last name was Paul and I thought, that sounds familiar because Phil's mom was a Hall, but they're no relation to them. <laughs> but anyway, make a long story short, we found out that they used to be in the same group that run around in Oklahoma together. Years later, like, we don't want to talk about how many years later. <laughs> <laughs> decades. Uh, uh, decades. The next person I met was John. Hmm. So what should I do? Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm Jim. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Wow, so some stories about my dad. Hmm. Yeah. I don't I didn't check the statute of limitations on some things. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Uh I think looking back at pictures, it's always good to remember different things. Um, I remember uh my dad worked night shift at the post office, and I don't know, I was probably five or six years old and we had a swing set and there was a board that I had, and it was my favorite board. It was like probably five feet tall, eight feet wide, and one feet thin. And uh, that was my special board and dad would, uh, he would work all <laughs> night, but uh, I, I had um, just afternoon kindergarten. And after kindergarten, he would get up and play with me on the swing set. We always had a good time. So that's uh, one, one thing. We also went on camping trips and my dad had this uh, big green, uh, uh, what do you call it like thing for water and he would fill it up and this thing like weighed more than I did and I would have to take it uh, back to the campsite and I, I don't know why you did that dad why did you do that <laughs> but I would just kind of be uh, I even though I was young at the time you know like uh, single digit years I had the spirit of a grumpy old man and I'd be like, I don't know why you're making me carry this. You'll probably, we'll probably get back to the campsite and you'll make me dump it out and then I'll go back and fill it up again. I remember that part. That was something I remember. Um, and then I, I posted on uh, the group about uh, um, another trip that we had where we uh, went on a, it was an RV trip, but we would rent a, a pontoon boat every day and I would eat, uh, sugar cubes and spin around in circles. I do not recommend that to anybody. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we had a lot of good times. I mean, and then like I also said, a uh, trip I had with my dad to Mexico, it was supposed to be for his 60th birthday, but it got delayed. I think dad went to the hospital and I broke my back and you know, just time passed. So was it more, it was probably more like you're 60, around when you were 65 and we went and it was just a blast. It was seriously a lot of fun. Yeah, so a lot of good times. Oh, uh, one other thing. Um, uh, let's see, it was maybe kindergarten or first grade. Uh, they had like a career day at school and they would have like parents come in and explain what they did. And I was kind of, at first I was apprehensive about my dad in the post office. I thought, well, the post office doesn't sound like an interesting job. 
and I was kind of, I was worried about like, well, what, what did the kids think? Because, you know, other people's dads do this or that. And my dad worked at the post office, but uh, my dad's presentation was so awesome. Like all the kids were uh, totally uh, engaged and they even set up a, a post office like station in the classroom where everybody could pretend that they worked at the post office and sort mail and deliver stuff. And um, yeah, so my dad did a great presentation with that. remember that yeah um after i met you brenda came along <laughs> we married her but first we we moved to gardner and ran into leonard and judy hi judy hi <laughs> What can you say? Well, I I think I remember meeting you. Um, I came over to your all's house and you were having a scout meeting and I kept volunteering my better half. <laughs> 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 so I do remember that. And oh, going to Boy Scout camp on Parents Day. And Let's see. Of course, uh, John and Randy were pretty good friends, really. They played together quite a bit, back and forth, and rode bikes and did all those fun things. So that was the gang, part of the neighborhood gang. Yeah, the gang, the Parma gang. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We still see um, Steve True. He just lives a couple of blocks from Randy there in Ottawa. And uh, he has three kids, two girls and a son. The son's about, I think, 14, 15, something like that. And then the little girls, I'd say they're like eight and 10, I think. But anyway, he and he and Rand still kind of run around quite a bit together. Socialize, I guess that's a good word for it. <laughs> but they don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I don't know. I think they uh I asked Randy about that last night. Uh -huh. Now are you being careful? Are you doing this or that? You know, and it just kind of got blown off. He so I thought, well, there's no sense of me wasting my breath on this one either. <laughs> He's not going to listen to anything I say. Yeah. So, but I don't think there's, I think there's only maybe one case in the county where he lives at. Oh, really? Yeah. In some of the areas, there's, you know, there's none. So it's just kind of depends on how close you are to the larger cities. Right. So, and then I think we have, what we've had here in our counties is probably, St. Louis has been hit really hard. And I don't know if it's from people that have come down from there on spring break, or if it is people from the city. I, I don't know. Right. So. Big cities are worse. Leonard, you and I met and over the years, spent a lot of time together. Probably too much. <laughs> 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 I think we were always finding somebody else to have good times with, but it didn't help. Didn't always work out that way. You, you ended up doing it though. Yeah, we lived together for a few years. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a few years, it was a year or so. Anyway. It was long enough. Sarah call, called me yesterday, and she's been looking for a picture of where you tied her to a tree and she couldn't find it. Yeah, the, we had a, we've had a lot of our pictures. You know, I, I've gone through everything, so I don't know if it's, I don't know where they're at. They'll tie her to a tree? 
Yeah, I'm so yeah. tied her to a tree one day. That was in Boy Scout camp. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was, it was uh, there off of Waverly, Phil, on that farm. Was yeah. that, uh, what was that man's name? I don't think it was Rod Friend, Ron Friend. The other man that lived across the street, he, he was a uh, scoutmaster for a while. Dick Page. Yeah, yeah, Dick Page, that's right. And um, okay. anyway, it was on his farm, they, how you all used to go down there and camp. Oh, let's see. Sarah, yeah. she was probably six or seven. What did you do, driving him crazy or something? Uh, I don't know, I wasn't there. <laughs> but I don't know, I think they were always, you know, teacher, trying to, trying to probably keep her out of trouble. So. Leonard and I were blood brothers and, and uh, scouts in the tribe of Mikosay, which is kind of just a uh, uh, honor camping society. And Leonard was our brother. He was the tribe first. And uh, so we had a lot of interesting times at camp. John and Randy were there. And yeah. Randy became a tribe member. Then after that, with Leonard and Judy, I hooked up with this woman. And hi, Laura. Hey, Phil. Happy birthday. You made it. You figured it out. Well, I, I'm going to interrupt just for a second. I was going crazy yesterday because I thought I missed it and I didn't realize <laughs> it wasn't Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Today I overslept. I fell asleep watching TV waiting and I was 10 minutes late. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> Linda Paul sent me a thing that said that. Uh, from now on, there's today, the next day, the other day, <laughs> someday. We have days of the week anymore. And the day after. The day after. <laughs> it's kind of kind of hard right now with this uh, isolation quarantine, whatever you want to call it, to yeah. trying to remember what day it is or, yeah. Judy calls it hard time, having to be here with me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and luckily, it finally got warm enough and to where I can get outside and work in the yard. You can get away from it. Yeah. I just go to my she shed and so. <laughs> Anyway, he was saying that I met him, and you all know how I met him, so I'm not going to go into that because I think everybody in here knows that I met him through Radio Shack at Jack Shack. So, but then we got uh, Andrea. Andrea came into the picture with me. So where is Andrea? Andrea. Uh, I'm right here. Okay, so you get to tell the story on Phil. Okay. Um, well, I met Phil through my mom, obviously. Um, so one, one story I remember about Phil is when I was in school, um, for PE, we had to do these like physical ability tests, which involved doing different physical feats, um, such as like, X number of sit-ups or jump rope for however long or pull-ups. And I couldn't do pull-ups. I still can't, so failure on my part. But um, I remember Phil really tried very hard to help me learn how to do pull-ups as, 
a teenager and he spent a couple of afternoons out trying to no avail to, to help me do those pull-ups. And it was really very, uh, very kind of him, very, very nice and supportive. And he really tried, but I guess it doesn't help when he tried to make pull-ups. <laughs> it doesn't help when uh, the, the, how do you say, the, 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 student. the student just can't learn the lesson. So I don't think I was ever able to, but I really remember how, how kind he was and how helpful he was in that. And then another thing that I remember about Phil is I remember waking up in the weekends when I lived with my parents and he would always have the Beatles playing. Um, he had out in the garage and so in the mornings on the weekends yeah, I would always wake up to some really good music and that was really nice and it's definitely something that's been really like and now my husband and I really enjoy to have music playing whenever we're doing anything it's, it's instrumental and I think that I get that because of Phil playing music on the weekends when I was younger and he's he uh, also coached your uh, soccer game too, didn't he? The what? Your soccer game. He helped coach them. Um. Yeah, I don't really remember very much about soccer, but probably. Yeah, it was in Garland. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so then we got Stacy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hey, I gotta find your picture. There. Came with the package. She's she's from my brother's my brother's daughter. So anyway, that's <laughs> I I have a really bad memory. <laughs> <laughs> Always have, but um, I just remember feeling so comfortable around Phil every single time I was around him. You just we felt like family and just atomic relief in every situation. But I remember when Tracy and I took the trip down to see you guys with the kids. Yeah. And that was the picture I spent forever looking for <laughs> and didn't find it until just the other day. <laughs> Yeah, I had a different one, but it was on the trolley. Yeah. And I can still picture Phil and I think it was Kelsey next to each other on a concrete slab. And that was just a good memory because we had so much fun on that trip. Yeah, we did a lot of stuff. Yes, we did. <laughs> And when we go to yeah, Kansas, right. a lot of times we stay with Stacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've enjoyed having you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I enjoy being the head. And Rob, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about you the other day, Stacy, and yeah. I'm wondering how you're doing because you have your basement. Because I have my basement? Your basement, your basement full of, of endless supplies. Endless supplies. You should be in really good shape. Yes. <laughs> Our neighbors have all told all their friends that we're in good shape because we got neighbors who are stockpiled and <laughs> people we've needed to give some toilet paper away. <laughs> we are an endless supply of toilet paper. <laughs> we have not. Had to buy anything. <laughs> You're set. No worries there. <laughs> Gordon said that's what he's worked his whole life for was this moment in time. <laughs> <laughs> and I love being home because my job is so stressful. So I was so excited to be home and work from home with no students. <laughs> I can do this forever. Well, uh, Andrea and Rafi said that they're not stressed about being home, are you? No. 
I mean, I really like it. I think it's great. I don't have to deal with people. It's very stressful. Yeah. I mean, and nobody knows. We <laughs> 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 were just talking about that when we were getting changed. We decided that you guys weren't going to see what we had on the bottom. We just put a clean shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> really, I to spend all my time doing laundry. <laughs> With us, we don't, uh, the only reason why we do laundry all the time is because when we go outside to walk the dogs, we get pollen on us because the trees yes. are pollinating. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, just about time to start dealing with the oak pollen yeah. off the oak trees. That stuff is bad. There's yeah. hard to get sick from that or corona. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After I met you, then Kelsey was your daughter, and I met her. Is Kelsey still there? Yeah, There's... I'm still here. Hey. Hi. Hi. Sorry, my house is probably a little noisy. You're um, in there? Huh? You have both of them there? I do. Yep. <laughs> Can you hear them? Sorry. <laughs> They're both here. <laughs> Remington, don't. Um, I was going to say my mom stole my memory because um, I remember coming down there. Huh? When you yeah. yeah. Uh, let me see if I can be some more quiet. Uh, and right I now. I remember coming down there and you guys took us a whole bunch of different places. And I remember Phil always had those walking sticks with the metal pins in them and he was like so nice to just like he would just sit there with me and Kayla while we asked him what each pin was and he would just sit and tell us and give us stories and I remember that I remember going on that trolley ride um but I know our family dynamic is always so weird especially on my mom's side <laughs> and uh but you guys always treated me and my sister just like you know we were your grandkids or you're always so sweet and so nice and always, you know, never treated us different. So I always appreciated that. Um, and I remember most recently when you guys came down, Phil had his CBD oil and had <laughs> Aunt Tracy try it. And, your and Aunt Tracy thought she was going to overdose. <laughs> <laughs> so glad, she, glad she's still here with us. Glad that didn't happen. <laughs> but yeah so it was always nice seeing you guys you were always so sweet and so kind and yeah hey Kelly show show what show what show what Remy look huh? He shaved off half his eyebrow. <laughs> it's gone. So that's nice. I thought it wasn't his eye. I know. And it wasn't at my house, so I can't get in trouble for it. Is it Nana's house? Not so his dad's mom's house had happened at. Well, okay. Oh. Well, you got Stacy. You're out of trouble now. <laughs> she is. We're both out of trouble. Oh, there's a wasp. Okay, come on. Let's go. Go back inside. Go back inside. He is. Finally, we came around to Laura. Where are you, Laura? Here I am. You know, I was I was thinking about some of the things that happened while we went to church together. Was how I met you both. Mm -hmm. And I remember Father Michael saying one day that at the vestry meetings that Phil belonged on the vestry, 
that Father Michael was sometimes scared of what was going to come out of Phil's mouth. <laughs> and I thought, I wonder what he means by that. But then I understood. <laughs> you you could always count on being surprised by Phil. What, what was his comment that he told you, Father Mike? That I was rather irreverent. <laughs> Yeah. And I asked him if he meant an irrelevant. <laughs> he said no, maybe both. <laughs> he, he always said, I don't know what's coming out of Phil's mouth, and I'm always worried before he opens it. <laughs> yeah. You, you can't be uh, weak when you're around Phil. No. <laughs> He, you got to be one step ahead. Father Michael looked at me really strange one day whenever I was leaving the service and I met him at the door and I said, do you realize that Mary was probably the first person to say, Bryce, were you born in the barn? <laughs> 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 Did he think it was funny? Probably not. He probably kind of grinned and walked away knowing Father yeah. Michael. <laughs> yeah. After I left. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to get Brenda in here because we missed her. She got she yeah. and the girls. And Brenda, thank you for um, putting the uh, Thank you for putting the picture of your wedding on there because I don't remember us having many. But it was really nice to see that. Well, I think someone else put that picture on. Did you pick that picture? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, Brenda was the one that saved our butt with the, <laughs> the mask. The mask. The mask. She sent them to us and then she told us all about all the things that we were supposed to do and not to do and how to hey, save, or save us hey, from this virus. Because she was hey, in Taiwan when it broke out. There. Yes. Yes. See <laughs> if I can repeat that <laughs> one more time. So um <laughs> can I? <laughs> So just, sure. just one thing, because Taiwan has been dealing with this since January, so Sarah and I, we know a lot about it. So just one thing I want to mention before I get to Dad's story. Can I, can I do that? I just, <laughs> okay, just, so when you take the mask off you, uh, make sure to not put it on the table, because we have to assume that the virus are outside the mask. So, um, and um, we, if you, how we store it and don't just like fold it and put it in your pocket. We don't want to con contaminate your cl clothes or don't just leave it on the facing down, down on the table. And you put a tissue paper outside um, the mask and one inside and you can fold it. So to make sure that it's not touching any surface. Uh, for cross contamination. Okay, but John, did you remember when I first met Dad? Because I actually don't remember so well, long ago. It doesn't have to be when you first met Dad. Just some some story about Dad. Yeah, I understand. But you know, everybody talk about when they first met. You know, Dad. So I was I couldn't remember when. Did you remember when? No, Dad. Did you remember when you first met me? Um. I think it was at John's mom's house. Yeah. And you came over and John had been talking about Brenda for a long time and <laughs> and uh he would go off to see her in Taiwan. He was infatuated with her and he went over there for a while. <laughs> Um, for six months, John. Oh, it wasn't that long. 
but I'm sure you met her before before that. Didn't you go over there and teach? Uh, no, not really. Just uh, took some classes. Bam, bam. Bam. And then, I wish you could come away from that. That pops like it did. Um, um, I think. Oh, John and Brenda got married, and Joanna was born. And, and today's her birthday. Today is her birthday. Happy birthday, Joanna. Happy birthday, Joanna. Thank you. Where are you? I see you hiding back there. <laughs> We're hiding. Hi, Come Sarah. Back. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Joanna came along and John moved to Seattle from Tulsa. With Brenda. <laughs> And one thing, yeah, with Brenda and, and Joanna and 234 <laughs> flip flops. <in> that <laughs> we don't have as many flip flops as we used to have. We used to have a stockpile with them. Probably like, um, you know, some people have toilet paper stocked up. We used to have a lot of flip flops, but not anymore. <laughs> well, Joanna came along and then Sarah, stick your head up, Sarah, so we can see you. Hi, two beautiful granddaughters. And uh, Joanna danced ballet for a long time until she worked her back. And Sarah, the thing I remember about you is Rope. <laughs> you were so good at that. Well, I remember all of the games because she she knew every time we came up there, she knew every game that Brenda had in the closet. She knew how to win <laughs> all the strategies, and yeah, all you had to do was be on Sarah's side, and you definitely would win. <laughs> and we we miss seeing you, Dad and Carolee. I mean, I don't think we. The last time. And, and one thing that I always enjoy, you know, spending time with you is you're just very easygoing. And every time that Sarah and I, I just remember like every night we can just like sit down and relax. They can enjoy watching the movies with you. Yeah. And it's special because they don't, they can do that very often at home. <laughs> they have a lot of work and at like, a grandparents' house. You know, they can just do whatever I want. Yeah. And I was really looking forward to going on a cruise ship with you, but now. We'll still do it, though. <laughs> um, one person we haven't heard from is Girl. Did you want to say anything, Girl? Lady? Sarah, Joanna, you want to say anything? Um, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Joanna. Uh, I remember like Christmas, every Christmas we would spend Christmas together and like open gifts and stuff. That was fun. I liked going to Texas and it's like, it's like my mom said with like the movies. I remember there was one day where we had like a Pirates of the Caribbean movie marathon and like everyone took a turn taking a nap through it. I was the only one who stayed the whole day and watched all of them. Yeah. I mean like now I don't remember the contents of, of any of the movies but still like I don't know that was fun. What I remember is, is always having crafts and, and something for you guys to make. Remember that ice cream uh, thing that we made with the wheels, the cookies? We had faces on him. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> um, after we were down here I, and we re-met Dean and Linda, Dean and I became brothers. I mean, he adopted me like Leonard adopted me and um, And Dean and I were both yeah. teams. He was a year ahead of me. And 
and uh, we became brothers, didn't we? We did, and we are. <laughs> and we are. I remember. I got. I got a good one to tell on Phil. Though it's not real. Uh, it, it's what everybody can relate to about Phil. Uh, we were going and delivering uh, signs during the uh, election campaign, and Phil was operating the GPS. <laughs> we probably drove an extra 100 miles. <laughs> <laughs> He's still but the we had a good time. And we all, we all but one of the signs delivered, and it was behind a, a fence we couldn't get into. They locked us out. They saw us coming, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Phil's uh, uncle was my ex-father-in-law's business partner. Oh, yeah. It's a small town. <laughs> but we came out of that same small town with one thing in common. You never know what's going to come out of either one of us's mouth. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what's going to out. <laughs> Okay, we saved the la the best for last because we have to have Rafi. He came in the family last, and he is he's a comedian in himself. Uh, I say no more. My son-in-law, the famous Raphael. <laughs> oh, such so, so, so a nice introduction. Thank you. Um, well, the first time I met Phil, he was in a scenario. I don't know if it was more like a meet the parents or made the song in law scenario, but Andrew just moved with me. Um, I was living in the apartment complex and say, well, it's time to meet the parents. Well, you know, you get scared those moments, right? But anyways, it wasn't that bad. Uh, the first time I saw Phil um, and Carol Lee, they were walking through the lobby of the apartment. And I saw Phil with this such flair of a gentleman and style um, that had a, it's influencing me, as you can see right now. So I think I finally are up to expectations of Phil, and I have I will try to improve my wardrobe. And I think. <laughs> well, thank you, Phil. That has been very impactful in my life. As a side note, he's also an impact me as an entrepreneur. So I wanted to ask you, Phil, how's your fish binding business going on? <laughs> Yeah, well, Stacy is uh, is in the. I was waiting for you to say something about this fish binding business, and you put it on the website. <laughs> yeah. Midwest Division. <laughs> you didn't hear that. I said Midwest Division. Yes. <laughs> that was Gordon's part of the letter. I wondered. <laughs> he remembered that. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> so, well, uh, Rafi is, well, he's the uh, postal division. <laughs> don't know what we're talking about. Phil mm -hmm. has this company, and I'm going to let him explain it to you because there's, it's hard to explain. Fish Binders is my company, and their binders that hold fish. And inside the binder is a, it looks kind of like a briefcase. And inside the binder are these little self-stealing vacuum freezing shell um, bags that you put your steel mill, that you put your fish in after you've caught it and you don't have to carry around a bucket or anything you can carry around a briefcase looking thing so it's <laughs> fish binders and i developed it and everything i've never made a prototype and it's good because i've been advertising fish binders for about six years and so far i haven't had a sale <laughs> i get a nuisance call i answer uh, fish binders, and they ask, uh, I'm calling about, and I say, oh, did you want our international line with this <laughs> John and Brenda? Uh, they do the international, and um, 
Gordon is Gordon and Stacy are mid our Midwest division managers. <laughs> and uh, Leonard should be the uh, sales rep for Lake of the Ozark. <laughs> And um, where's Rafi? They're they're the coastal. Rafi is the South America. Oh yeah. Language is important down there. What? Language is important down there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As what's Phil's Boy Scout name? He's a. Mikasei? Uh, tribal name? Yeah, what is your Mikasei name? Um, no, the one you tell, you tell, tell the girl is the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard's a flashy black pro. You haven't said anything, Leonard. Yes, I have. <laughs> Read my lips. <laughs> He's asleep again. What's your What's your name, Phil? Your scout name? Your Mikasei name? Running Lone Duck or Running Lame Duck, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> running Lame Duck. Okay. We. Each pick our name. <laughs> Dad was great flashing black pro. Yeah. No. Big. Big felt big. Big. Yeah. He didn't want he didn't want that name. What did he want? He wanted to be called corn called corn stock or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I got to pick the name. Because I was the first one. And what's Gary now? I don't. I don't remember what Gary's is. His is uh, Lee. Randy is little flashing black pro. Lee. Least, and then they, Mike's son. I'm, I'm not sure they 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 kind of away from my son is uh, something about a wolf now. Yeah, it kind of uh, since uh, that's our nephew or Leonard's nephew and his son, so it'd be our nephew and great nephew. So they're both pretty active in scouts. Bobby? Bobby? Yes. Uh, how are we doing on time? Well, they've uh, we, we've gone way past 40 minutes, but that's all right. They uh, uh, apparently have removed that time cap, so I mean, it's up to you ever how long you want to go. Okay. Does Bobby have a story about Phil? What? what? Does Bobby have a story about Phil? Does Bobby have a story about Phil? Bobby, do you have a story about Phil? <laughs> I, I met Phil yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby uh, is a friend I'm of mine through networking, and I um, <clears throat> have known Bobby what? Well, a couple of years, I guess. Huh? Uh, maybe a couple of years. I don't know. Yeah, a couple of years. He he has a um, special web to his company, and so he's um taping this for us so that we have a copy and he's also going to take all the comments and all the pictures that you guys put on facebook and put it in with the with this so it'll be a nice little memory thing for us and whoever wants a copy is more than welcome i guess i shouldn't say that i have to ask bobby bobby can you make copies <laughs> uh, we'll post it online where you know you uh -huh. We we can put it on the YouTube account so it'll be available to anybody that wants to see it. It doesn't cost. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, we'll make a copy if they'd like from that, but it. Uh, okay. Uh, it, it's that, that's 
my plan. Okay. So, um, anybody got any questions for Bobby? Um, well, I do want to say, Bobby, just give it time. You'll have a story soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like that might be the case. That sounds like uh, <laughs> Well, they were, they did chat together when we went to the, um, <clears throat> the Murphy Chamber. That's right, the yeah. Chamber Gala. Yeah, the Gala. Because we all dressed up in 1920s costumes. His wife um, altered his wife's dress for the occasion. So um, we have pictures of that, which was pretty funny. <laughs> that was a nice time. Yeah. If anybody has pictures or videos or anything they want to have included in this, just uh, uh, I guess contact Carol Lee and she can get them to me. Uh, we'll be putting this together over the next few days, I guess, or ever how long it takes to get stuff to her. But uh, yeah. still pictures, videos, uh, anything that you think would like to be included. I mean, it's up to you guys. Right. Yeah, I, I especially want the grandkids to have it. Um, a, a memorable thing of all of us together. And Bobby was pointing out that this is kind of weird because it's the, what, 2020, and we're all stuck in our homes. So 50 <laughs> years from now, you can look back and go, look, this is how we had to talk to everybody. <laughs> Yeah, this is better than 1918. I remember in 1918 that there wasn't any. Do you remember? Yeah. Um, that was a rough one, you know, the Spanish flu. <laughs> and we didn't have internet or anything, so we had to just use sock puppets. And pretend like we were the other person was talking to us <laughs> it was a little bit difficult so i'm going to send you some sock puppets yeah. i didn't hear you andrea i said i'm going to send you some sock puppets oh <laughs> thank you you're welcome i will tell you one story that about um, your dad, Stacy. Uh, My dad. Well, we went up there, and for some reason, we were going to, I don't know what, what, but we were staying with Charles, and I got up there and realized that I had, I didn't bring black socks and we were going to a funeral or a wedding or something and i asked charles if he had some black socks and he said they had holes in them he said all the socks he had had holes and i he finally found a pair of, that didn't have a hole in he them. found a pair i said that's okay my socks have holes in them too <laughs> he said well i don't think i have very many so when we got back down here, um, Carol Lee and I got a bunch of old black socks. No, I bought him a brand new pair. Oh, you bought him a brand new pair? We, anyhow, I sewed she, it sewed shut. Up, she, she sewed the top shut. By hand, so you couldn't tell it. And, uh, and then we mailed it back to him. <laughs> and he got them and he th thought, oh, some new socks but he couldn't get into it. <laughs> <laughs> he deserved that. <laughs> yeah. But he said, he called and he goes, you think you're really funny, don't you? <laughs> I said, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, we pulled some really good ones on him. <laughs> And then shortly after that is when I adopted Stacy and Tracy. And they're my daughters now also. So, <laughs> yeah, um, we claim them. They're closer than, than nieces. They're, they're adopted kids into the family. 
Yeah. Oh, did you lose somebody, Dean? No, she had to go run an errand. Oh, okay. Oh, in, in the back of the house. Tell her thank you for being on. John, you met Dean and Linda. Yeah, a few times. The time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we went to the Christmas party together, or Christmas show together. Yeah. When he was down. Yeah, we had dinner over too, at the house. Yeah. Yeah, we we drug uh, Phil and Carolee over to uh, to an Irish pub one night, and uh, Phil was trying to dance on the table, but he got <laughs> I kept stepping on beer mugs. Yeah, that. <laughs> That we was a beer, though. We caught it all good. Musician. We were planning to do it again this year, but yeah. well, you all know about that. Yeah, well, so much for that. Last year, I think one of us was sick and we couldn't go. Because it's been three years since we did that. Uh, yeah, it's year before last, I think. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Well, anybody else have anything? Other than John looks much like his uncle John, it's unreal. Oh no. <laughs> well, I, I hope that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna pick you out anywhere. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you guys all getting on and, and sharing with us today and Maybe we can do it again just for fun, <clears throat> especially if this lasts for a while. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> I thank all of you for your friendship and your uh, kindness and the stuff that you put on. It's made my life better. And I hope if I made your life worse, uh, <laughs> it was in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy birthday. Yeah, happy, oh, birthday. Happy, birthday. Yeah, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Take Love care. you. Take care and come by sometime. Yeah, stop by to see us. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye. Yeah, we'll good stay. to see all of you. Take Love care. Love you guys. Love if you're you. in the area, stop by. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we just drop right in over there, Leonard. <laughs> well, anytime you guys, you know you're welcome. Yeah, we have plenty of room. <laughs> we got more than six feet between everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you have enough to do. You have enough room. We can stay in the house next door and still be able to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can come out on the deck. Yeah. Next time we come up, we'll probably come and buy. Good. Good. Plan to stay. Yep. And tell everybody hi up there. Go around the boat and try to scare you to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Laura, uh, I think she's gone. Are you still there, Laura? No. Okay. Laura's gone and Rob. Oh, Kelsey's there. Kelsey's there. Yay, Kelsey's there. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm glad to see you again. Yeah. Good to see you too. Give your sister a hug next time you see her. Ew, no. no I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we can't hug. <laughs> oh, gross. No, there's COVID going on. I'm not going to hug her. <laughs> well, you can do a distant hug, you know. And Carolee said hug. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just text her. I'll send her a hug through text. <laughs> Virtual hug. Yeah. <laughs> Linda, we can stand up. I don't want to hang up. I'm going to try it. We can call your house and wave from the car. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you for everybody. Bye, Brenda. Yeah, happy, happy Easter, birthday. happy birthday, happy Bye. everything else. Hey, Joanna, happy birthday, and 
Um, sorry, I didn't get your stuff yet, but it's coming. You can't go to the store. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go shopping anyway, but I'll still send you something. Send you a mask.